Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this brief LibreOffice Writer tutorial, I'd like to introduce you to styles within the context of the application. So what styles are when you're working in a document are basically a list of traits that you can apply to a block of text. Now that might be the title of a book, it might be a subtitle, it might be the heading for a chapter or a bunch of paragraphs, or it might be the paragraphs themselves. And when you apply these styles, um, a set of traits, as I mentioned, are applied along with that style. So by applying a style, it might change the font, it might change the font size, it might control the number of spaces between each line, and it might control whether the, uh, the text is centered or left aligned. And you can find a bunch of titles by default up here in the top left where it says apply paragraph style, you hover over this drop down menu, and you can see all of the default styles. There aren't a huge amount by uh, default that go in this menu to keep it manageable, but you can, of course, hit more styles to find new ones, or you can basically uh, edit your own by hitting new style, and then uh, make all the changes to set that up. So I went ahead and created this test style here, which doesn't have anything to it right now. It's uh, essentially the same as the text body or the default style. But if we wanted to change this, what we would have to do is actually edit a block of text to have some new changes to it. So we can, say, change the font to anything over here. Let's say so go black, UI Black is the font. We can change the font size to 20. And now, if I go back into the style menu, you'll notice when you hover over each item that it has a little extra drop-down menu to the right. You click on that and you hit update to match selection. And now what that means is that this style now has copied the styling from this block of text. So uh, we basically took how one block of text shows and now we have it available to apply to anything. So I can select this subtitle here and apply the same thing, the uh, font of 20 and to go UI black as the font uh, name. And that's pretty helpful because you can create your own styles as much as you want. Now, if I wanted to use the default styles, that's perfectly fine and probably recommended for beginners. So here I have a book title, which uh, I mean, trying to imply there that this part is supposed to be the title of the book. So we can select title from the drop down menu. You can see it's got uh, centering, liberation sans as the font and 28 as the font size. Now we probably want to apply the subtitle to the subtitle block, so select what you want, choose subtitle from the uh, font, I mean the style drop-down list, and uh, yeah, you get the idea. So here we can do a heading for a chapter. So using heading one or two is really common when you're talking about headings, and for the paragraph down here, we could simply leave it as the default style, but I'll actually change it to text body, which has a slight difference, increasing a little bit of space between the first and second and future lines. An alternate way that we can modify the style, uh, the styles that are in the list, is to basically change our paragraphs here. I mean, this one's already been set to text body, so if we change this to size 14 as the font, i uh, got to select the whole paragraph to do that. And now I hit update style, then that's going to change text body as the style. So now if I change this, let's say, back to 12, which is what it was before, and reapply the text body, it's going to increase the size because we updated this style based on what our selection, what this paragraph had. For now, I'll go ahead and return that to what was default. So if you want to see all of the styles that are available to you, you can click on the drop down menu, go to more styles. Alternatively, hitting F11 on your keyboard will toggle the styles and formatting window open for you. And you can see that there's a lot of extra ones that you can apply. Now, outside of the base styles, it's also possible to take styles from templates. So you can go up to the Styles drop-down menu and hit Load Styles, where you can select a template such as the Modern Business Letter, and you can load in all of the styles available from that template. But at the core of the problem, what you need to understand about styles is that you can apply multiple attributes to a block of text simultaneously by using basically predefined attribute sets, and those attribute sets are referred to as styles. And using them uh, can actually save you quite a bit of time, because once you have a style set up in the styles drop-down, you can simply apply that over and over again without having to worry about selecting the font, selecting the size, coloring the background, 
or the text alignment or anything else like that because it's all stored into one single style. So I've been Chris. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this to be a little bit helpful and feel free to check out my Patreon. I'll see you in my next video.